Hi, I thought I'd show you this because in my latest project I had this problem and could I find anything to tell me how to fix it? No. It was such a ball egg. And I'll tell you what, when I show you how to fix it, it's quite simple, but there is nothing in the Unity manual that tells you anything about this and how to fix it or how to set it up. So there's two things happening here. If you look carefully, it's changing color, which I didn't want in my project. And obviously sliding across the landscape, which is, a, which is totally nonsense. So I'm gonna show you how to fix both of those. I'm gonna show you Max, 3D Studio Max, but I'm sure other packages like Maya and Blender have their own have their own way of fixing these things. Um, so here we go, I'm gonna show you how to do it now. So we'll stop that, go into 3D Studio. This is uh, an editable poly, as you can see here, it's my mesh. Select the mesh, go to edit vertex mode over here. Select all the verts, and then scroll your panel down up until you come to vertex properties leave color white you can change the color if you want to but it will change the color of your object so be careful leave illumination white and change alpha to zero so pull it down like that so they're all zero what that will do is make this plant completely static so if you've got a rock that's perfect for a rock but you do want some movement on this. So leave the base zero like that. Halfway up, change it to around 40. And at the top, make it 80. I mean, you could make it 100, but it'd be pretty wild. Um, but the good thing about this system is that if you've got like a, a vine, for example, crawling up the side of a wall, um, and you want just the leaves to move, you can make the whole stem black, but the verts, the alpha on the on the stem black, and put a higher value alpha like this on the just on the leaves. So the wall, you know, it'll shimmer on the wall and it'll look pretty cool. So anyway, now you've set that up, just export uh, back into your project file, and there's mine there. Yes, export. Don't need to change anything back into unity uh, make sure you have your detail mesh selected and if you click on refresh and you'll see it lock into place and if you press press play now fixed it's not moving anymore except the top is and the more verts and sort of the more edge loops you have in your grass you can make it curl just on top and keep the sort of stem fairly rigid. So, you know, it's quite flexible. They just don't tell you in Unity, in the Unity manual anywhere. And it's really frustrating. Um, so there you go. So the color is quite simple to just click on stop, click on the terrain, um, go to your end icon here and click terrain settings here. Come down to grass tint, click on that, and just make this 128, 128, 128, 255. Uh, turn that off. Now it does change the color of your grass, but you can easily go back in and you can just tweak this. So if you select that, edit, click on edit, you can you put your put some color back into it just by using these values here or you can do it inside your inside your application using the vert color so you know it's plenty of options there to do it apply click click play and you'll see the color has stopped changing and it's now locked to the ground So, if that was useful, if that was useful to you, give us a like, and I'll see you next time.